Hello everybody, Jet here, and a welcome back to a new Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires playthrough as... as the Paunch. The, uh, the Gobba who ate... is it Troll? Oh god, okay, yeah, tr uh, ate, ate, ate some Troll and just got bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> um... He's just fun to play. Obviously, he gets lots of buffs to his gobbers, including 10% physical resistance, but there is much more we can do for that very quickly, depending on how it's working at the moment. Uh, obviously, we start in the normal position in Massive Orkel, I do believe. Um, we are going to be playing on, settings-wise, we are going to be playing on Hard Hard. Um, I've turned a few of these off because I've had uh, the Black Pyramid and I've had a grudge too far. I've not had any of the other ones yet, so hopefully we'll be getting what well, we'll definitely be getting one of them. If we get the biggest war, there is some fun with that we can have, potentially. But yeah, we're gonna jump straight in, I guess. It's a while since I've made played Mr. Paunch, and he is he's probably one of my favourite green skin factions, because he's just ridiculously overpowered. You get all the buffs to gobbers from him. And with his food mechanic, you can create humongous buffs, which are just, just so solid for him. Um, yeah, I, 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 you, I have got it to the point before where I have had a unit of goblin spearmen who were able to take on a unit of grail guardians and win, which is insanity. Uh, early game. I'm not talking late game either. I'm talking early game against Carcassonne because Carcassonne start with a unit and I managed to kill it. Just realised this this has a horse in the air. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in. <clears throat> While it's not early access anymore, a big thank you, Fusier, for giving me early access while we didn't start with the early access. Obviously, the the fishy tiddle muncher is being joined straight into the force. Now, I don't believe... Regen for gobbers, but I don't... That's all I have at the moment, so it's not worth cooking yet. Um, ooh, interesting. So obviously our war meter there, which has changed slightly, I do believe. Starving Gobbo. Extra hit points and Grom's recipes, which obviously we want to spend the campaign getting. And obviously we have to go across here quite quickly and deal with deal with the others. Obviously we do also have a whole world to explore, so let me know in the comments where, what you think I should be doing, where you think I should be going. Wah! As it's the only tech we can get. Uh, don't think there's anything else I want to do before we go. Massive Oracle is... I, I love Massive Oracle's position. It looks much better now. I guess we're going to eat some Bretonians. Nothing too bad here. Some Knights... Uh, Knights of the Realm, they're probably the scariest thing. Obviously, we've got pump wagons. We've got trolls in here. My gobbers aren't OP yet, but they still have 10% physical resistance, which is solid. And Grommy himself is obviously tough and... and um, oh, I forget what they're called. Um, river hags are solid as well. Good channel, because that's a rubbish amount of magic. The biggest war boss. That is definitely the case. So these guys can sit in the center. Obviously, we want to be quite aggressive here. My arrow boys behind. They will actually be coming at us, so... Here we go. I thought they'd come at me, because we're just going to sit here, pounding them with my range, otherwise. Whacking them with artillery until they come. I mean, if they want to sit there and take all my artillery fire, that's absolutely fine. Gotta 
What does his ward do? Uh, extra AP, immune psychology, extra armor piercing. A 24 melee attack is huge. Charge! Kill them all! Really try how I can get involved. I want you slamming straight into the flank here. Oh no, we're gonna get caught a bit. So we're just gonna go through their archers. This isn't necessarily the best fight that I want to be in, but that's fine. I'm gonna disengage now. Oh, they're already running. Okay, straight into the rear then. It's gonna utterly break those units. You guys get onto the Knights of the Realm, please. Ah, uh, no. Yep. You guys can get up behind as well. Absolutely slaughtering them here. Let's pull my chariots out. They're getting a bit too stuck. And into there. It's already over, guys. You guys can get onto them. Onto the Lord. Oh no, I don't want the trolls. I don't want the trolls. I want these two, because they can just rip through. Oh, it's already over. Yeah, everything on the Lord, other than you guys. There we go. Easy, boys. So the thing we need to do early in this is we want to make sure we take the quests to get foods because some of those are what is going to win us this. Some of the recipes you can get are, I mean, there's one which gives extra physical resistance. I think you can get your gobbers up to like 60-70% physical resistance, which is insanity. Um, awesome, but also insane. And there's one which makes their, uh, their arrows like explosive. Fish I'm going to take replenishment. Oh, not quite sure I can take the settlement straight away. That's the only issue. <laughs> no, Pyrrhic victory. I'll lose the unit arrow, boys. I don't care. More gobbers. Lots more gobbers. Okay. At Grom gets other buffs to his gobbers as things as we go down some of these trees. Dag gobbers, so obviously that is the first thing we want to be buffing up. See? Horrid mass. That's awesome. I can go down one of two routes. Making them a really solid caster or just making them... Yeah. Uh, sorry, or making them a melee. Uh, I've probably got enough to do both, so I'm probably going to go caster to start with because it makes sense early game. Growth and control for the home. To be fair, night gobbers are what I want early. I'm not entirely sure. I think I remember some of the things buffs don't actually affect night goblins. They only affect base goblins, which is a bit annoying, but still. Here we go. Obviously, I've got a lot of potential hostiles around us, so. But while Grom isn't a horde faction, he plays very hordy. You are definitely best to keep going aggressively. Wah! Plus one rep per turn. Okay, so... At the start of the turn, quest issues, Black Tooth's Revenge. Black Tooth's head in a jar. Summons a rogue idol. 
and we unlock a random ingredient. So where is it? Oh, start your turn, have 50 scrap. Okay. Whoever's there is dead. Hang on, I can't raid. Hmm. More ranged, lots of gobbers. Go faster. Go bigger. Gobby gobbers. Gobby gobbers is going to be huge for us. Uh, but go bigger to start with. Growth early, always. Next turn, we're actually going to drop into Ambush Stance. I'm tempted just to go straight for Paravon. I might be able to do it, but it's a bit of a risk. No, I can take that. Goblin Force 1 can take that. I say that. Let's continue the siege. <laughs> no, I want other things first. There we go. So we're going to siege Paravon for a while to get them lower. Again, the benefit of it being gobbers is I don't really care. Certainly early game if they die. Late game, the goblin force here, I will care because by the time they become uber elite, they are going to be spectacularly powerful. Rob always wins. Remember... Yeah, I honestly don't care about. It. Oh no, I care about the catapult. There we go. What you ask is impossible. Ooh. All right, you got my attention. What's your tribe want? Uh, I don't need an aggression pack with him because I can I can confederate him by by headbutting him and eating the boss. Eating the boss. I'm gonna eat the boss and then the rest of them will follow me. All right, gets. That's how it works, isn't it? I apologize for my terrible, 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 terrible orc impression. That's better. And that is Paravon done. Um... We've already got the scrap we need. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do a little merging here, because I want... See, I can get Goblin Wolf Riders. They have less units. They actually have better... No, they don't have as good range. So none of my units have the best range. <clears throat> no, I'm going to get a couple of units of Gobble Wolf Riders to, to flank with. And we've got this so we can summon a road, Rogue Eagle. I go rogue blood. Hmm, why can't I equip it? Ah, he, Gromy, can't equip it for whatever reason. Oh, because he's not a caster. But there we go. Da fishy tittle muncher can equip it. Good. It's buffed to gobbers even more. So, yeah, gobbers have quite nice little buffs. I, they're still. Just gobbers, but yeah. Get life leeching, so we get replenishment. Well, not repl full on replenishment. We get lovely buffs. Uh, what ingredient did I get? Eh, 
it's not the one I wanted, but it'll do. And now we are going to start cooking. It does consume 50 scrap, but um, it will give us five reputation, growth, and regeneration for all my goblin units. We're breakfast champions. And some extra things. The ability bangers and smash and charge. Don't know what bangers and smash does. Next one is going to cost us much more. Drum the porch. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. To be fair, I probably should have done that when I was fighting something. Oh, interact with the food merchant. Gain 150 scrap. When the food merchant appears, that is. So we're going to go Ed butt these guys next. I do believe. Heavy metal. Scrap unlock for, you know, gobby gobbers to start with. Go faster is also useful, but not yet. Now, I suspect we are going to lose some of this territory soon, but I don't care. I was going to say I should use the underway and get Skarsnik, but Skarsnik's no longer there. Because obviously another person who gets lots of lovely buffs to gobbers. Hmm. Sorry about that. I shouldn't be having any pings happening. That was weird. Right. So our plan is to go and headbutt this guy for a confederation. And obviously we need to interact with the food merchant when he appears. I should probably actually get some replenishment. To that, the growth we got from that recipe is also useful. Oh, if they don't, if they survive, they may not even survive. Might be time to pull into Massive Orkel. Ooh, Gobby Gobbers. That's good. Ah. Drawn close by the scent of Grub's constant binge banqueting. A merchant troll for hag has appeared. There we go. I honestly cannot remember how this works. There we go. Wing leather. Cooking challenge. Food merchant challenges you to cook her dish. Daylight robbery uh, or hag surprise. Food merchant cooks an unknown recipe. Current recipe's effects is replaced. Or you can pay and get wing leather. I'm going to buy the carrion for this one. New ingredient. Let's have a look. Missile strength for goblin and night goblins. That's cool. It's not the one I wanted, but it'll do. I mean, long run, I can also increase my uh, whole thing so I can get multiple recipes at once. Not multiple recipes once. I can have up to four things in, but I think... Hmm. No fighting. Gonna go faster, give me buffs to some of my other gobber units. Basically, everything here is about what's good for gobbers. Uh, gobber crackdown. Why is it buffs for orcs? Oh, that's not bad. So they're neither's bad. I'm going to get both of them. Oh, hang on. Ah, they both cost money. That's why. Still, they are both good. Dinner time afterward, right? So yeah, I want a little replenishment before we move on. 
And I probably want to take out Quinnell's early. Um, what's her face early? But obviously, my goal here is to go over to Brit to the donut and murder. What's his face? So, victory conditions, toy of rest, control of following settlements, and 30 settlements. That is my main one. That is what our aim is for this campaign. For the porch. They are a goblin unit, actually. Hmm. I need to control. There we go. So, Brion is definitely our next target because confederating them would be solid. Grom is so useful for the uh, Bretonian factions because you can take him out early if you want to do that and stop your thing. Ooh, okay, they are falling back. Interesting. Aquitaine, there, retreating. Ooh, okay. Right. I think heading for that is a good idea, actually. So we're starting there. I'm a bit confused by that. Oh, it's a raiding camp, isn't it? I always forget that. Yeah, you see. I want to be a little careful here. Because they've got quite a force already, but I'm definitely starting raiding them. Let's get go faster. There we go. I'm in it. The question is, who do I attack next? I should have gone straight to Carcassonne while it was undefended. My lord, oh, you power desires a change in your mutual Don't do this, guys. Don't do this. This would be if, if if the AI does this, I am going to bitch. So sometimes, as factions like this, the AI jumps on you really early for no because it can, and it sucks. Absolutely sucks. They'll just jump you, and it's. And they'll start ch chasing you down early, and it's really annoying. Does any of this? No, nothing there is going to give me more recipes. Collect six ingredients is our next one. Faster than anyone. Divine Benny. Who wishes the grave? Do I do it? This may be a mistake, but I'm doing it. Get in my belly. She is far too built up already. No. Oh, there ain't no walk here. No, whoever told you that, you lying. No orcs there. No gobbers there at all. No big gobber sat in a bush. It's 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 a boar. Come hunt it. Such ingenuity, my lord. Using your scrap, you have successfully improved your battle capabilities. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I always forget about this. I I I need the the tech for it though. Yeah, I don't want them. Mm. You know what? Actually, I don't mind him. Here we go. Come on. Fall for it. Fall for it. It's only 45% charge, so it's not the best, but we can always hope. We can always hope. I'm going to auto-resolve it because auto-resolving it kills them all. That's the reason, guys. If I had fought it, some of them would have escaped. So, that is the entire purpose of that. No, you get. I should have gone to war with him. Uh... Corpulent Majesty. Gorky Mork wants some drink. Okay, then actually take it. There we go. That's fine. Oh, I lost both of them. Mm. They are interesting because they are very, very, they are sneaky. That's not bad. But I'm not a huge fan of them, I'm going to be honest. Some of you are probably screaming at me for saying that, but you know. Death from above. Ooh, see, this is good because it's buffed all my gobbers already. Um, and to be fair, his army is going to be gobbers. So all these things which buff orcs. Other things I might help, like pump wagons, I probably will keep, but yeah. Ooh. Bonus versus large for goblin units and plus six melee attack for goblin units. Yes, please. I mean, it's still not huge, but it's it's not bad. Start upping our replenishment a bit. Orc Slayer. This being the other beauty, it is so cheap to recruit new units. But I can pretty much do that a lot. Uh, unlock the... Yeah. Whereas this one is... All night goblins. So, so... Sharper stabbers is one we definitely want. So we can start using scrap upgrades on my gobbers. Getting them going. I think I was lucky the first time I played Grom because I got some of the really nice buffs straight away. Oh, should I go get the island, guys? No. My best bet now is to try and take Carcassonne as fast as possible. Grom the pole! Right, so we got a choice of scrap armor or ooh, scrap. That's a lot of armor, actually. Makes them that much more survivable. The uh, armor piercing damage is nice, but it's not a huge amount extra. Heavy ammo for these guys. So these guys are going to be my main armor piercing stuff. And you, I can't afford either. Warlord. 
off to war. Friends at the gates. Oh, they are already rebuilding, but still, I'm not terrified. Maybe I should be, but. Let's get no infighting to start with. There we go. So, Kakasone. Oh, Kakasone has multiple factions going for it. <laughs> I should probably have a look at my diplomacy because ideally we want to make some friends. We don't want that to be on dump fast forward at the moment. That's brave. Oh, you git. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with it. I can deal with it, I hope. To do. Uh, I think I would like a non-aggression with Scryer. So, we need to take on Carcassonne. I don't know if they will help me, but that's something I guess we will find out next time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying. Um, if you're new as well, please do like and subscribe. And you, if you want to see more, make sure you hit the little bell as well. It really does help. And pop comments down below. Let me know what you think I should be doing, where you think I should be going. Any character names, chuck them in the comments. Then shout at me for forgetting to put them in next time. I may have recorded a couple of these before you see them, so we'll see how it goes. But other than that, guys, as always, thank you to everyone for watching. And an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone else for watching. Cheers all.